Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Quinn Walpole. And I'm Ruby Saltzman. We start today with an announcement from SGA Corresponding Secretary James Furr and Community Service Representative Belin Arbelize. Good morning, guys. Good morning, WHS. SGA is currently working with the Community Service Club to plan for Community Service Day on March 28th. As part of this activity period, homerooms will package toiletry kits for St. Joseph's, a group that helps serve those experiencing homelessness and economic hardship in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Check your email for the link to uh, for the wish list to donate supplies needed for the wish list. When purchasing items for the wish list, make sure you select WHS SGA Care of Jamie Glickman as the shipping address. We will have more information about the various other week of service events coming soon. Thank you and go Blue Devils. Attention future educators, please fill out the Google form on Classroom. See Mrs. Rinaldi if you have any questions. Paws for a Cause is displaying one animal from St. Hebert's Animal Welfare Center a week to help their adoption. This is Bro. Bro! A mixed breed who loves toys and playing with other dogs. If you're interested, go to the St. Hubert's website and contact his foster. Paws for a Cause will be meeting on Monday. Please bring any old t-shirts you do not need anymore. They will be making dog tug toys out of them. There will be a field trip to Liberty Science Center on February 24th, 2024. Pal students and mentors, please see Mrs. Alston in room 380 for permission slips. The first 25 permission slips handed in will get to attend the trip. If you are interested in trying out for the boys lacrosse team, make sure you are a member of the team's Google Classroom. If you're not a member, please see Coach Wertheimer in the PE offices so he can add you. Attention, anyone who is intending to try out for baseball in the spring, there will be a virtual sign-up meeting February 6th at 7.45. You must attend with a parent. If you are not in the Google Classroom, please see Coach Cook or Coach Sloan immediately for the classroom code. The boys' spring track and field team will be holding an informational meeting on Tuesday at 7 p.m. via WebEx. Any boys who want to run, jump, throw, sprint, or hurdle this spring should attend. Bring a parent. The link to the meeting can be found on the WHS Athletic website. Please reach out to Mr. Tafelski at ctafelski at njk12.org with any questions. Do you want to write love haikus? Come to Folio's Valentine Coffee House. It will be on Friday, February 9th, 68 p.m. in Calf B. $5 at the door, but performers get in free. For more information, visit Folio's Instagram at Westfield Folio or go to their website. There will be a bake sale after school today for the Dungeons and Dragons Club. It will be by the front door from 3 to 3.30. Come get yourself something good to eat. There will be gluten-free and allergy-friendly options. It is now time for sports with Emmy Wadonowski. Emmy? Good morning, Westfield High School. My name is Emmy Wadonowski, and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, bowling lost to Elizabeth 7-0 despite a strong match from Matthew Colhane. Girls basketball beat Dayton with nine seconds left as Megan Logan carried the ball down the court, finding Sophie Lane in the corner for an open three-pointer to send the girls into an overtime, resulting in a 36-34 win. Boys basketball also came out with a win against Union with a score of 54-34. Leading the way were Blue Devils' Tyshawn Pearson that was able to alley-oop it to Zach Epp, who was wide in the corner, open for a dunk. Today at 3, girls ice hockey will host Princeton High School, and at 6, wrestling will take on Howell. Finally, congrats to senior Max Rotter on being named All State Athlete of the Week. That's over today's sports report. Back to you. Thanks, Emmy. Guess what day it is? National Tater Tot Day, I believe. No, uh, uh, Groundhog Day. Oh, it's you again. Weren't you here last year? Yeah, and uh, I'm back again this year. Um, this time with some nice uh, BTV so swag. Greg, I'm gonna be honest with you here. We were under the impression last year was kind of a one and done type thing. Um, uh, what gave you that impression? Frankly, your audition last year wasn't really received well by the producers of the show. I honestly, I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, well, yeah, thank you. At least some of us here uh, know some talent when they uh, they see it. Yeah, okay. Anyway, what do you got for us this year? Have you spoken to Phil yet this morning? <sighs> here it is. I just, Phil, 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 Phil. Everything's about Phil. I can see you're still not over him getting all the fame today, are you? I'm sure not. You know, uh, there are other groundhogs in the world, too, like, like yours okay, truly. Uh, Greg, we are running out of time. Can you just tell us if he saw a shadow or uh, not? As a matter of fact, he, uh, he uh, did. 
So that means an early spring? Or a later winter. Uh, no, Ruby, it means early spring, uh, obviously. Um, what would you do without this level rodent right here, huh? Hmm? Hmm? We'd be hmm? perfectly fine. Okay, well, uh, thank you. It's been a real treat to have you here, Greg. You know, it really has. It's just so sad. We have to wait a whole nother year to see you again. I knew everybody I would love me. Uh, anyway, uh, if you'd like to submit an announcement uh, to read, please read the BDTV on the website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a great weekend and go Blue Devils!